Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time we left off, we, um, we just got done with the trial. No, sorry, last time we left off, uh, we were talking with Miss April May, but she refused to talk to us even after we showed her, um, the picture of Mr. Red White. So, um, and this is actually my second take on this, because the other one, I didn't calibrate my picture right, so it was too small for anyone to see. Anyways, let's go ahead and move to Blue I'm going to do a little thing different from what I originally did, so I'm going to move over to Blue Corp. Oh, hello. What's with this? What's with the Searle Director? Dector. Welcome! Please, furnish me with your title of your personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? What's your name? I was just inquired by asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? I don't care. Mis Mr. Wright, is it? Right. I see. Splendid! Differous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my gigantic, gigantic vocabulary. Still can't say that right. What's this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporation expan expansion official. My business dealing brings me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to co conversing with the worldly challenge. What is... What a fruitcake. Mm, let me guess. You're an attorney fresh from law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you could would would come to meet me like this. Does he even... What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does the mighty lawyer have for such... for a man such as myself? Yipes. This guy's eagerness meter is off the scale. Miss May. Miss May is an employer of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She is my secretist. Secretary. Whatever. What a shock it, it was when to hear what she has done. What? What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not part of her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condemn illegal ma methods. Oh, I could beg to differ, Mr. White. It is infamable, flammable, that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Night of the murder. On the night of the murder, were you in Miss, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I solemn, slendom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. But my motto is, don't worry, be happy! Isn't that a song from one of those wall fishes? <laughs> still Mr. White, still Mr. White, the hotel bellboy stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me in the witness stand. Although I doubt you'll be doing, be all capable of doing that. Hmm. You raise a good question, actually. I'll bring. Okay, never mind. Hmm. You raise Why didn't the prosecution call him to the witness as a witness? He should have seen. 
the same thing April May as April May. Ho ho ho! The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Blue Corp? What kind of company is Blue Corp anyways? Ah, an excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. Sell, inf sell information? Just in 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. No, really, there's blue in the name, so why wouldn't we think of that? Err. I, re Red White, of Blue Corp, as the founder and CEO, named it so. And why do you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fabulous thick, is it not? Not really. Um, there's something I've been that's been bothering me. Yes, what that might be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh, just yesterday, actually. Your point being... My point is simple, uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. Excuse me. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, um, huh? A lawyer. No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing, zitch. Zippo, nada. Just like the sorry excuse for attor for attorney Gory Burger, Gordy Burger. Huh? Wh what? Ugh. Ooh. Ugh. He, he, he punched me. Well, well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? charge away. I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exploration. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your comprehension. You came here from Gory Burgers, I presume? Gores, Mr. Goresburger? Yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that his painting is of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps you'll explain how a man can live a life purely for perusal profit. Go now, skedaddle! There is nothing more to discuss. I'll get you for that. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? <coughs> Jump in, Jehoshaphat! Oh, you. What's wrong? What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about uh, this whole mess. Something really is bothering. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me last night. You see, I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? Why was that? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister. That poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks. Truly. I don't, don't know how, what I would have done if, if things had gone poorly for that girl. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have the right to know. Alright, Mr. Wright? 
No, no, I am sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He doesn't seem troubled, but he does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to get a feeling I know what it is. Ugh, hang on, folks. Ugh. Sorry about that, folks. I'm getting a little parched there. Anyways, Mr. White. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, ho, oh, oh, I see. Mr. Gr Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... A photo of Mr. White. The photo of Mr. White. Why would you have a photo of Mr. Gro have his photo, of Mr. Grossberg? Hmm, yes. Well, it's been a long time since then. A long time, a long time ago. I'm sorry, but I think not. I'm sorry, but I think not. I think you still have ties to Mr. White even today. But really? Whatever gave you that idea? What? What connection? Could I possibly have to an individual such as he? It's pretty straightforward, actually. <laughs> oh, I gotta do this. You go drinking together! You go drinking together! You're friends, aren't you? No, you're being foolish, my boy. Why in the world would I ever drink with the likes of him? Huh? Oops. Maybe that wasn't it. He's giving you information. Red White is supplying you w with information, obviously. What's that now? You've been protecting him all along. You protect him because you need his service. Now you're being foolish, my boy. What possible use could I have for getting service of like him? Um, oops, maybe that wasn't it. Yeah, I'm just goofing around, guys, now. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I don't I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Grossberg, sir. There is a giant painting right there the other day. Was other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you notice. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It's a rather large painting. Mr. Grossberg, tell me what happened. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that ex excels in finding people's weakness, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? It's all because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you expected, I could not stand, stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would destroy me if I did. So that's what the connection. If it is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives me... It gives me an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? Are you... They are bound, unable to... To do harm to themselves. And therefore, to him. 
Don't look at me like that. You won't. What you see is nothing more than a wait of many years. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing DL6 is nothing more than a sorting code the police gave the case. <coughs> it was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye. Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder on the on the bequest of the police and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her and in the end, clear her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remained unsolved to this day. The case is the DL6 incident. Well, what's the reason for blackmail? But why... But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Gr Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want anyone to know they were using the medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked... The police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, he, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. And yet, if you would still challenge him, have a closer look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed every... Followed his move every... He, she followed his every move for years. She may have records on something of what she found. Thanks for the information. Let's go take a look. Uh, excuse me. Oh, folks, I'm going to be finishing this chapter. So... So this may be a little bit longer than the first ten parts. It's funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have a look. Uh, look, not look. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetic order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? A through I. Let's see. There are a record in this file that catches my eye. <laughs> I, I get it. Because it's A through I. <laughs> yeah, it's not really funny. A, B, F... Misty Faye. That's Mia's and Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? Yeah, let's read. I have I have cherished the Faye name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who made my mother blame herself this way this way. Using the ESP that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was a man who sold the information to the press. This, this parasite who made his fortunes on threats and cor corrections, corrections, whatever. His name is, hmm, the record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. All cases, blah blah blah. J through S. Let's see. J through S. Nothing much here. Maybe I'll just skim some of these. 
Skib. Well, no harm in flipping through it a bit, I guess. The biggest part here at the end of N in S, suicide. You. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of on most of these in pencil. White. Is this is Mia's handwriting? Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to. I can use. I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. And let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, article about a politician suicide. The word white is written in pen at the top. I thought it was pencil. Oh, I forgot to check the last part of this. Should I check uh, Mia's files once more? Yes, check them. Which file should I check? A to T, T to Z, T, U. I know, W, white. The entire white section is missing. Was it taken? Uh, if it was, I wonder who. Because if you remember, Mia went and put stuff in the statue. If you remember from the phone call, um, the statue, um, the clock isn't working. I wonder if those are the papers that she put inside, inside when she took the clockwork out. And we know who took took those. Go back to Blue Corp. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me! If you try, try my patience further, I fear, I fear a, a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Well, let's start with Miss May again. I think we're past needing to talk about April May. I've got to put this guy on the spot and quick. What's the matter? You seem distressed. Night of the murder. Excuse me. This guy is a pro at pulling wool over people's eyes. I've got to put him on the spot and quick. Stop that! Your, your hot glaze is giving me goosebumps. Blackmail. There's no point asking anyone this crook, crooked, a straight question. I need some evidence that can use as ammo. What's wrong? Is there something stuck to my face? Why, well, yes. There's my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. But of course, I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It's okay to include in my composition, compen, compen, compelitant sense of humor. I will not think less of you. Okay. Sorry, I'm just taking a look at something. I'm dropping fraps pretty bad right now. Okay, that's better. Hope that doesn't mess up my... Wait, why am I moving? No. I want to present. Man, just that one second, I'm already all goofed up. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was 
embellishing secret government funds. Then one day, word got out, got to leak to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me. How? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. He had a. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White. Mr. White, I know uh, what you did to the to this politician. You blackmailed him. You blackmailed him. Blackmail? Not just that either. You were threatening and carcering hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a barbe- bizarre ac- what a bizarre accusation! Mr. Rock, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Security office, hello? Mr. Rong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone up right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insulting? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work this out, Mr. White. You did it. Security's office. We won't be need we won't be needing an escort from Mr. Wrong. Instead, please contact me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Sorry, folks. White, what are you? What are you doing calling me like at a time like this? Hello, ch hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this all about? The Mia Faith case. I, I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Why do urgent? I told you, I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. There's a man standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidor, the kill man, the killer man. What? Mr. White. This isn't one of your one of those chief prosecutor. Do I believe you? I do not believe you are the one in a position to freely offer your opinion to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police. Now Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Mia. Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point a finger. I'll point a finger at you, and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in local lawyer association. You see, you'll be given a lawyer, stupendously, and tempt that they may make even you look competent. I, I feel faint. Detective Gib Detective Gib Dick Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, Bots! Harry Bots! Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. Okay, I can't. That just makes. Yeah, or well, whatever. Alright, oh, sorry, pal. Bots was. Was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. What? 
take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. September 8th, here at the detention center, visitor's room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to step set a trap up for me. And the prosecution will be on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me yes by the state yesterday. I refuse. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Um, I got this from an LP here, but... If we're in detention and she's not, why is there a security guard on the, her side and not our side? Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm afraid we switch places. What? You mean... you? I explained what had happened to, happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does this man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother? My sister? And now you? This has gone too far! Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... You can help me break me out of here. Right, okay, listen up. I want you to help me break out of here. You mean, a jailbreak? Yeah, tonight's our only chance. All right. Huh? Oh, I better go get the hacksaw while the stores are still open. Oh, 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 and a rope ladder. And a get a getaway car. Can you drive? But wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I'm, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do to help me anyways. But... But I just can't sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then come to the court tomorrow. Oh, okay. I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. It's the beginning of a new century, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on intent court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow... The true culprit appears as a witness. This is it. It's me or him. And that, folks, that will be the end of of this part, which will be the end of this episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So next time, we will start the trial of start our tri start our trial tomorrow. And we will go, well, we will try to get ourselves innocent and get Mr. White guilty. So until next time, folks, join me next time for the next episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. See you all later.